Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hope everybody is doing all well. So basically, before I get into sharing the results of you lot today, uh, I just wanted to share a message that I got on Instagram from a kid named Kalen. And he's 20 years of age and he was basically asking me how to make money online. Now, I haven't replied to this kid, but I thought it would be cool to obviously put it in this video because I'm sure there's going to be other 20-year-old kids out there that are trying to make money and want to make money online as well. So there ain't going to be a quick answer to this. But what I will say to you, Kaylin, show this video to your mum, your dad and your friends. And if your mum and dad approves of what I say on this video, tell them to drop me an email and um, I'll get on a phone call and I'll basically explain this in a bit more depth. So basically, how to make money online, I would have said obviously you're gonna need, well not obvious, but you will need a product or a service. Now, depending what you're good at, what your hobbies are and stuff like that, it would depend on which kind of route you will go down. Now, I know you see a lot of stuff where people online say, no, oh, I make money doing this and doing that. Don't get bamboozled by a lot of things that you see online. That's in my opinion and my advice to you. So what I would say, if I was 20 years of age right now and I wanted to get ahead and have a good life in the future, what I would do right now is basically I'll get a job that paid something, obviously 20 years of age, something that pays something like a thousand pound and I'll be saving at least 20%. Now that's the bare minimum. Now, the quicker you want to go, the more you're going to save, right? So, let's just say, let's just stick with the 20%. Me, personally, I would be trying to save at least, being that you obviously st still at home with your parents at 20 years of age and you haven't got no responsibilities and you're getting a £1,000. Me, personally, I'll be trying to save at least £500 of that money, pay something to my mum and dad, live a bit and, yeah. That's what I'll do. So I'll be saving at least £500 of my wage from that £1,000. Now, I'll do this for a couple of years, accumulate some uh, capital. But what I will do once I've got maybe like a 1000 or £2,000, I'll start looking at uh, investing into a long term. Why invest into a long term? Because you don't want money sitting there and not doing anything for you. If you know anything about cultivated easing and money printing that's a whole nother topic but the government print money so the more you just hold on to it and they're printing it your money gets devalued so i would say find somewhere again a product or service maybe even a long-term investment and try and get your money to start working for you so then every other month that you look back on this long term, you now see a little bit more, a little bit of growth and a little bit more capital. So now basically what you want to be doing is trying to save up enough. I would have said, me personally, again, I would have said this is not financial advice. I would have saved up to maybe buy a property. Now, right now in today's climate, we are we're kind of looking at a recession, right? So... House prices will come down. So this is like the perfect opportunity for you. So I would uh, basically start saving now, start investing and uh, start getting my money to work for me. So when the prices do come down, you will then at least have an, enough capital. Maybe you might not have enough to go and buy a property uh, straight away, but you're on the way. So maybe not this year, but maybe the year after that, you might be in a better position to go and buy this property. Now, I will say to you this, there's no, there's no quick fix to success. There's, there's, I, I'm, I'm being, I'm just going to be totally honest with you, innit? Um, there's no overnight success, innit? There, there is people that have this, but it's very rare that this comes across. And what's the chances that it's going to happen for you? um is very small so again this is not financial advice if you get your parents to watch this video and they approve of what i say tell them to drop me an email and i'll happily get on the phone call and yeah we can discuss how i can help you do the stuff that i'm doing here now that i show on the screen how i make a couple of hundred a couple of thousands uh, in a couple of hours 
so yeah thanks to Kaylin for the message um, it was really humbling to receive the message especially from a young kid like yourself so again thank you for the message so back into the results yesterday I was holding a play again it was that 157 this morning we got a bit of some economic uh, data that was a bit bad so I said I'm just going to cancel out of the position and I made uh, it turned the 157 has turned into 310 so that has left me with 150 something profit in a space of I don't know 26 hours just say because I, I cancelled out straight away in the morning and then I've got I went into another play which cost me 70 bucks and I turned it into 200 so that's a 137 in profit, I believe. My math is not that great. But I'll put the numbers up on the screen again so you lot can see these results. So yeah, I just wanted to share this video again with you lot and these results. Hopefully, if you lot subscribe, like, share the video, it will encourage me to obviously keep on making these kind of videos. So yeah, I'm not going to keep you lot too long. I just wanted to make a short video. Don't forget... We're into the real estate side of things as well. So if you've got a property and you want to sell, send us a message. If you want to buy, send us a message. And if you're interested in just the whole trading stuff and trying to get that financial freedom. No, sorry, I don't even say financial freedom. That's the wrong word for it. I, I call it financial independency and bring that extra income into your household. Yeah, just shoot us a message and let's see if where we can help. Again, none of these videos are financial advice. These are just stuff that I do, investments that I take. And yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully maybe it can spark something in somebody's brain. And yeah, hopefully I can motivate somebody else out there to go and do something good and great as well. So I'm not going to hold you for too long. Again, thank you a lot for your time and God bless you.